So what if I start a rumor that you're a pedo? You're literally going to stoop that low to start a rumor that I'm a, a pedo? That's not even something you yeah. joke about. Yeah. Well, you broke my heart, so now I'm going to ruin your career. Okay, first of all, I don't even know, like, I'm not scared, because I know that's not going to work. Like, how would you... How would it not work? How would it not work? Well, first of all, I'm recording this, <laughs> so I'm just going to okay. post it, so everyone oh, knows that you're so lying. Scared. It's just going to flop, like, all your other posts. It's going to get two views, no. and then you're going to get embarrassed, and you're going to delete it, so no one will see it. I'm not scared. Okay, first of all, this is not going to flop. Yes, it will. No, And won't. you know what? I bet if I try hard enough and spread this rumor, I can get someone like Charlie or Addison. I wanted a daughter, but ended up with a son. Now he's seven. Is it too late to put him into foster care? Personally, I don't know if there's a cutoff date or cutoff age for when you can drop a kid off into the foster care system, but the fact that you want to simply because he's a boy and not a girl speaks volumes about your character. And the very fact that you're going out of your way to ask on the internet whether or not this is a good decision goes to show that you feel guilty about feeling the way that you do about feeling the disdain that you have for your son simply because he's not a girl. I bet it's fantastic living in that household with you. That love that he wish he had from his mother or father, whoever's posting this, is absent because of an identity that he can't change. Ironically, if you did put him in foster care, he would be in a better situation because there'd be a chance that he would get into a family that loves him. Dude, I am so angry. I hear a sound coming from the trash can at the park and there's a live sad turtle in there that some person put in there. Workout cut short so I can save this poor baby. Y'all be on the lookout for psychos that do this stuff. There's two different possible realities that led up to this awful decision being made. This is either somebody's pet that they didn't want to take care of anymore and they just wanted to get rid of, or this is a turtle that lives in the park and some maniac picked it up and threw it into the trash can for no reason other than for their own entertainment. Exclusive girl 14 with severe nut allergy nearly died aboard BA flight after passenger refused to stop eating peanuts despite twice being told by cabin crew he was putting the teenager's life at risk. So let me get this straight. You nearly kill a young girl because you feel entitled in eating your crappy airline snack? You couldn't wait until you got off the plane? Or at the very least, ask the stewardess whether or not she could give you another snack so that you won't accidentally kill the 14-year-old girl who's sitting next to you. Instead, you chose the worst option because for some reason you felt entitled to eating your salted peanuts on this crappy flight. What do you see here? A couple firefighters trying to help a guy in a car accident? Maybe they're trying to resuscitate him because he's passed out. Now what do you see? Do you see a person taking a picture? Because I see something incredibly different. I see someone going out of their way to invade the privacy of someone who's trying to live, who's being actively resuscitated by firefighters, getting in the way of first responders, all to make sure that they get a really cool, gory pick. I really hope that the people behind her, soon as she turned around, tried to put her phone in her pocket, snatched that phone away, and threw it as far away as possible. This behavior is so abhorrent, but it's happening more and more because for some reason, people think that a photograph that they can show their friends is more important than the person who's actively fighting for their life on the ground. But hey, anything for the Instagram post, right? I swear, soon as the lights turn out in the movie theater, people just lose all sense of civility. They turn into degenerates. They throw their garbage on the ground. They start having sex with each other. I just don't understand. This is a business, not your bedroom. You can't just throw garbage on the ground because someone has to clean that up. And to be honest, the fact that someone else is responsible for this mess is probably the reason why people act this way. They genuinely think they can get away with it because, hey, it's not my problem, right? If there were some type of policy that penalized these people from going to movie theaters after they make a giant mess like this, I guarantee you, you'd see a change in behavior. To the butthole who put mustard packets under the toilet rim, nothing in this world would give me more pleasure than finding out who you are, digging up your childhood pet, and beating you with its corpse. Somewhere between wiping mustard off my balls and removing my now yellow boxers, I realized that this injustice cannot go unsettled. For the rest of your life, in your most private moments, know that I, the only thing preventing a dysfunctional veteran from waterboarding you with mustard, is the knowledge of your existence. I hope you stub your toe every day for the rest of your life. I hope I hit one of your kids. 23 year old woman fires gun into home with children. Jesus, woman? Okay, I see a mustache, but uh, 
Alright, I'll, I'll take your word for it. According to reports, the witness said that she heard this monster state, since I already got a charge on me, I might as well get another one today by killing you and your kids. Oh, and then she continues with, I hope I hit one of your kids and I'm going to kill you next. The witness said during a shooting, a bullet struck her neighbor's front door while children were inside the home. The monster then threw a glass bottle at the neighbor's car, shattering the windshield, and then she kicked out the back window. To be honest, this animal obviously deserves to be back in its cage. If prison is that much of a home to you, then I guess you should be there, right? Better for everybody else if you're away from society. And the funny thing is about this article is that it doesn't even talk about what encouraged this woman to go on a shooting spree. She just wanted to kill somebody for whatever reason. They're like one and a half. Yeah, it's, so it's, why can't especially we use the front seat? since you're transgender. Huh? Why can't we use the front seat? Because it's not allowed. No. Because of who? Well, because of Lyft and me. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. You make your own policies for Lyft? Oh. Well, Lyft make the, the policies and I make my policies too. So. Cool. Okay. That's yeah. good to know. All right. Dibs on not being middle. Well, if you read the app, it's going to say that it's five people. That's fine. I didn't know people make their own policies for a company. <laughs> well, I'm an independent contractor, so yes, it's my car. You have an LLC? I do. Wow. Yeah, okay. I do. Good to know. Yeah, thank you. You want to know the name? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Want to know why the seatbelt doesn't work? I put it in both ways. Well, you may you may not put it in right. Nope, I put it in both sides. So because that's not the seatbelt; it's the other one under you. <laughs> there you go. You see, it works. Safe, safe, and safe. Yes, sir. Let me tell my buddy that uh, because the driver has an LLC, he couldn't ride with us. <laughs> That's not the reason. You're gonna be lying to him. This pregnant wife would be happy. Anybody else uncomfortable? I'm uncomfortable. It's an awkward Uber drive. Well, you can't get out anywhere. You let me know if you're uncomfortable. I can stop and now your seat. Okay, I'm just personally uncomfortable. Well, that's fine. You let me know. I can stop and you can get out, man. It's nah, not a problem. Good, All right. Yeah, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Discovers his victim had HIV. A jailed witness will discover this week whether he contracted HIV from his victim. Blank 27 collapsed when police informed him. About <laughs> oh my gosh, he collapsed? He passed out when he found out the person that he assaulted gave him an uncurable disease. Do you understand that you, of all people on this planet, deserve HIV the most, right? That you shouldn't be surprised that it's you. You assaulted someone. You went out of your way and forced yourself upon someone else. You didn't think there was going to be consequences for that? You didn't think there was going to be some sort of universal karmic <laughs> retribution? I'm glad you're experiencing hell now because you're going to definitely experience it later. This is a little bit of a preview to what the rest of eternity is going to look like for you, you sick <laughs> She killed my cats. We were in lockdown in different states because of the pandemic. I went to visit as a surprise and they were gone. She said she didn't want to be responsible for them, so she took them to the vet and had them put to sleep. Never said a word about it. Never said she couldn't watch them anymore. Never gave me the opportunity to pick them up. God, I feel so empty. God forbid that happened to me and I lost my dog that way. Because the house just turned into a giant 2400 square foot boxing ring. It would have been an absolute beatdown. How dare you kill my pet? I don't care who it is, it's unacceptable, and I would have a very hard time not getting physical with that person. Every fiber of my being would be fighting the urge to absolutely deck you for doing that. This video shows a clerk passing out from having a heart attack, and three people in the store decided to rob the entire establishment, including the clerk, because he passed out and they thought they could get away with it.
I am pregnant with my third child, and as I did with the previous two, I'm going to free birth. I've decided that I want to have this baby in a cemetery. I know that sounds crazy, but I think it would be a good way to balance life and death. The beginning and the end. Anyways, I wanted to know who I should call to inform of my plans, so they don't plan any burials in the area I want to birth in. I've already picked out a stone that I can lay on and it'll look cool in pictures. Also, do you think the groundskeeper will clean up the mess? Bump pick for attention. <laughs> no. The groundskeeper, no. What? The dude has no expertise on how to handle biological waste like that. But that's besides the point. You're disrespecting someone's family member by giving birth on their on their gravestone. Like, what? This is so perverse. I have never even heard of this before. And the fact that you posted this on your Facebook like people would be okay with this is daunting. It blows my mind that there's people out there who would clap this up. This next clip shows a couple of Antifa protesters jumping onto a fire truck that's actively trying to drive to a place that's on fire. Mother and grandmother of girl, nine, are arrested for murder after she died from severe lice infestation. Paramedics discovered bugs crawling all over her face. I didn't even know it was possible for someone to die from a severe lice infestation. But granted, this is just a headline. There could be other factors that led to this poor girl's death. If she was already covered in lice, it isn't unreasonable to assume that maybe there was other different types of neglect happening in that household. Jesus Christ, she was nine. She was nine, man. She didn't even reach double digits, and already she was being put through hell because two adults wanted to completely abandon their responsibilities in taking care of this child. Or maybe they were so f***ed up that they actually wanted the child to suffer. Who knows? Who knows? But what we do know is that this kid had a terrible life. All because these two grown women couldn't be f bothered to comb her hair. You ever try to go to work and feed your family, but you can't because the whole freeway is blocked by a couple of protesters? I think you'd act this way too. My kids had tried me today and I'm 120% over it. So I'm gonna give away all of their toys, every single one. They're all good. One just had a birthday last weekend, so there's new ones in there too. Come and get them all at once, please, and pass on what you don't want. Literally eight trash bags full. Wow, traumatizing your children because they frustrated you that day. You see, the lesson that you just taught them isn't to stop frustrating you. No, 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 that's gonna go through one ear and out the other. What they just learned is to not share anything with you, is to not share anything that they care about with you because they know that you're either going to destroy it or throw it away. 
What you just did was make all of your kids people pleasers. They're gonna go out of their way to placate your feelings just to make sure that they can maintain their happiness. When in reality, the only people who's responsible for their frustration and feelings is you. You're the adult. You're supposed to be the bigger person. Don't throw out your kids' toys because they made you upset for a day. Jesus Christ, you're terrible. I swear, I don't understand why people have kids and then become a bully. They go out of their way to be their kid's worst nightmare for no reason other than because their kids crippled their ego for a day. You ever just see a homeless man and think to yourself, wow, I want to make his life worse? Oh les fils de pute Oh mes skins So this morning I'm driving to take Markley to camp and traffic in my lane stops so that four geese, two adults and two babies can go cross the road. As we're stopped, a car coming from the other direction just plows into them. I know she killed at least one of the adults, but I think probably both. She didn't slow down. She didn't even try to swerve into the turning lane to miss them. Then she drove off like nothing happened. I'm gonna tell you, I've never seen anyone try to kill an animal by running them over before. Now that I'm not raging at what I just watched, I just wanna cry because that was heartbreaking. You ever just go to a store and casually rob it with nobody stopping you? New York City man, 33, is punched and stabbed for his Cartier watch by a stranger he found talking to his girlfriend. Don't live in major cities. Leave them. Abandon the cities, because it seems like everybody is getting cut up, robbed, and just accosted in major cities in the United States. You just gotta go. Leave. Especially if you have resources. If you have enough cash to purchase a Cartier watch, you have no business being in New York City, because someone's just going to victimize you. Do you want to be a victim? Move out to the county. Move out somewhere else where people are actually reasonable. Because it seems like major cities just concentrate the dumbest and most violent of society. This next clip shows a woman having an argument and losing her mind at a taco stand. I want to eat my tacos and now I'm... No. No, I can't believe it. Smartphone cameras were rolling as the Saturday attack unfolded, showing a woman trashing the South Tacos stand, dumping tins full of food and pouring out barrels of horchata and juice before assaulting Berta Zuniga, who told us Monday her neck is sore and she's afraid. Afraid and nervous to speak out. Zuniga says the woman, who they've seen before near their spot on Slauson and Normandy in South LA, went ballistic after workers told her it would take a few minutes to make her order. After hitting Zuniga, they say she fixed herself a plate of food and then, as seen here, spit on everything left behind. <laughs> Heartwarming, New York landlord receives the gift of a lifetime. Video, tenant fatally shoves landlord down the stairs in dispute over rent. Tankies, socialists, communists, and losers all clap this video up because a landlord died trying to collect rent from a tenant. Let me give you a little bit of insight. This tenant's rent was already lowered by the landlord by $200 to make sure that he could actually pay. He came to collect and the guy chose to shove him down a flight of stairs where he landed on the back of his neck and head and died. And these unskilled mongrels on the internet who feel that they need everything given to them are clapping this up because a landlord isn't a real job. 
I'm not going to get into it here, but what I will acknowledge is that the very people determining what is and isn't a real job happen to be the most degenerate, criminally unemployed people on the planet. So please spare me your opinion. This man was murdered because he had the audacity to enforce a contract with his tenant. His tenant is living on his property illegally. He's not paying for it. So he needs to go. I can't believe there's people online who are so myopic, who are so deep in their ideology that they're willing to justify murder if the person being killed is their ideological enemy this man was innocent he didn't do anything wrong and the reward for his civility was death and people on twitter were clapping that up you being mad disrespectful you're the one that and came in the car. You're in the car and you're still not and you're and still not in the car. so you're showing exactly what the reason yeah. why i'm kicking you out hi i have an uber driving Uber driver being mad disrespectful. I just paid fourteen dollars to get to school, and he's kicking us out. Okay, what's the address? Um. It's Forty First Street. Forty First Street, Street man. Eleven. What kind of car are you in? Um, it's a black car. A black car. Stay you know what? For this, I'm not going to, to school, bro. He blew my. Head. Hello. Oh, how is he just gonna kick us out? I don't know. He's being mad disrespectful. Cool. You being mad disrespectful, no? You got a dollar for the I, bus? You yeah, got you got bus? five dollars for the bus? No. It's not my fault. You, you're gonna, you, you're gonna- Babe, you know, stop screaming! Cause how is her actions gonna cause with, with everybody's actions? He's paying $14 like, right now. How does that work? I don't understand. He's paying fourteen dollars right now. Give me fourteen dollars right now. Give me fourteen dollars right now. I just paid fourteen dollars. No, I'm not taking another Uber. No, we're not getting out. You being mad disrespectful. You bought her or something? Like you heartless or something? You're useless. Okay. Going to hell for this. Right. You're wasting my time. You're wasting, You're my, wasting time? my time. Right. Okay. I just not even care. We paid cause four dollars because I just turned her around and say, "Man, this, bro. that." So you're making a snake one for no reason. Um, I have uh two individuals in my vehicle that are doing Uber and they don't want to get out the car. We paid fourteen dollars. No, the the girl called. We paid fourteen dollars. The girl called. The, we paid fourteen dollars. You can hear her. In the, you can hear her in the background. They won't get out. My. They won't, We're not gonna get out. These people are either incredibly illiterate or they genuinely think that they're special to stand in a place that they're not supposed to be standing. This is exactly why a lot of national parks in the United States are getting ruined, because people think they're so special. They think that they can actually just go anywhere, step on anything, and make paths where they're not supposed to be paths. Funny enough, the only national park where you can't get away with going in areas where humans aren't supposed to be is Yellowstone, and the only reason why is because you're going to get trampled by a moose and mauled by a bear. Got an email from my job saying all employees get a $30 gas card to alleviate high gas prices. We're required to drive clients around. Why when I went to sign up it sent me another email saying I was fished by my tech department as a tester and then got assigned to training? <laughs> you fool! Uh, I checked his phone to see if he's cheating and I found screenshots of me cheating. So I guess I guess I'm the shitty person in the relationship, but like I'm gonna tell everybody on Twitter that because I want validation that I'm not a bad person. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Aylaris, aka Panda Daddy. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you do on watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This is technically a triple upload week. Two uploads here, one upload on Aylaris After Hours. If you want to check out that new channel, go ahead, link in the description and in the pinned comment to the video that was uploaded simultaneously to the two that were uploaded just now on this main channel. Big apologies for my absence, guys. Immediately after I started making content, I caught COVID, so I needed a little bit of time to uh, nurse my voice and my chest and my being. That disease does not play, but I'm happy to say that I survived it and I'm ready to make more content again. 
And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Will Kern, Hayden, Rivka, Soviet Frog 69, a Screaming Cloaker, Unikitty, Carter Not Steve, The Fake Musician, Light Star, Red Pyramid Thing, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanaker, Swag Daddy 69, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keely, Dunder Has Hawk, Caroline Banana, Spiritus Katsun, Viva LaRue, Julian, Nobs, Lady Laughs a Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Muffy Luhu, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly to the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty. <laughs>